Hello, today you'll see how to boot into Raspberry Pi OS headlessly. So prior to the Bullseye release April 4, 2022, we had a default user named Pi with the default password Raspberry on the Raspberry Pi OS. Due to security reasons, this has been removed. So we'll see how to boot into Raspberry Pi OS in a headless way on the Pi Bullseye release and um, enable SSH on Pi and uh, configure Wi-Fi on Pi. So um, you have two ways to burn the RPI OS onto the SD card. Uh, you can either use uh, Pi Imager or else use a third, pi a third party software like Etcher to do this thing. So Pi Imager allows you to uh, choose from multiple operating systems. Uh, gives a choice of operating systems and uh, on the first burn it will cache the uh, downloaded copy of the operating system on a PC to, uh, and you can uh, reuse it for burning multiple SD cards. Letcher on the other hand you will have to download uh, the OS from the Pi website or any other uh, distros and um, save it on your PC and you can burn the file. Um, so that is uh, the convenience provided by Etcher and Pi uh, Imager. So um, we will boot into Pi in a headless way uh, first using the Pi Imager and uh, to do that uh, we will uh, go on to the Pi website and uh, download the Pi Imager. So uh, on the Pi Major, you can choose the OS. You can choose multiple OS. I'll choose the um, Buster, the Bullseye. Sorry, the Bullseye with uh, all the packages. Then before we click right, let's go to this gear icon, and uh, you can enable the host name. Default uh, host name is Raspberry Pi dot local. You can enable SSH. Uh, you need to use a password authentication then set a username you can use a default username or give the username of your choice I'll give a pass password Raspberry I've given the same default password then you can configure as Wi-Fi so uh, and then just you can select the Wi-Fi country then set local settings okay save and then when you click right it is going to uh, download the OS from the repo and um, burn it onto the SD card so once you have burned it you can um, uh, eject the card from your PC and plug it onto the Pi and power it and you will boot into Pi. You can you'll, you'll have SSH as well as Wi-Fi enabled on it. So another uh, way to uh, boot headlessly into the Raspberry Pi OS Bullseye is using Etcher. So you can download the OS image from the Pi website so the bullseye image will have an extension x is it and you can download it and you can burn it directly into the sd card using etcher so this is a very familiar step and uh, uh, this uh, to all of you and um, so i'll just save this uh, blank file onto the uh, boot folder of your S of the SD card Pi uh, on which the Pi OS has been burned it's saved and uh, that will enable SSH so once SSH is enabled our task is to uh, enable Wi-Fi uh, so that too in a headless way so we'll just uh, create a file WPA config uh, WPA supplicant and uh, we'll just uh, paste it inside the boot folder 
So the contents of this uh, WPS applicant have, uh, will indicate the SSID of your Wi-Fi as well as a password and you will also have to supply the country code. So in our case India IN and just paste it there and uh, it will on boot the config the Wi-Fi will be connected. So if you are using Windows you need to use something like a notepad plus plus an editor um, and uh, make the settings so that the end of line is in the Unix OS X form format. On Linux the it's not an issue. So uh, I'll just insert the country code here and uh, it is IN and then I'll just enter the SSID. I'll just enter the SSID as 3 and the password and just uh, save this file save this file as uh, WPA underscore supplicant C-P-P-L-I-C-A-N-T in the boot folder so that's that's enabling your uh, Wi-Fi connectivity also so uh, having burned this uh, written this uh, WPS applicant dot conf uh, onto the um, boot drive of this SD card boot folder of the SD card now uh, we will configure the default user also in the headless mode so as already mentioned we don't have a default user pi in uh, Raspberry Pi OS uh, bull side so we will uh, create a file user con and uh, place it in the boot partition of the SD card. So it will just contain the username and an encrypted password. So if your username is pi, uh, say you're, you are choosing the username as pi, you will just say pi followed by a colon and then the encrypted password. To uh, generate the encrypted password, uh, you will use something like uh, an open SSL and uh, you can just uh, for instance if your uh, password is raspberry uh, you can enter in the terminal um, echo raspberry pipe and uh, open SSL password this 6 hyphen 6 hyphen std and you get the encrypted password so paste this encrypted password just after this colon so the username followed by the colon and then the encrypted password and just uh, paste this uh, save this user con file um, into the boot partition of the SD card so I'll just copy out this encrypted password and uh, I'll open the notepad and I'll just write pi the username and then paste this thing and uh, save it save it in the boot folder save it in the boot folder as user con so this will uh, create a default user with an encrypted password the raspberry so that's it and uh, so now uh, eject the SD card from the PC and uh, plug it into the Pi power it and uh, wait for it to boot and our Pi will connect to the Wi-Fi and you will be able to SSH into uh, Pi uh, with the user as the user Pi Pi at raspberry pi dot local and with the password raspberry so the host name will be raspberry by raspberry pi dot local so that's it so this covers how you SSH into headlessly into uh, Raspberry Pi Bullseye and we have created a default user Pi and with the password in a headless way we also saw how it could be done using the Raspberry Pi Imager 